Hi guys, it's Kristen from Six Sister Step. I am sister number two, and in case you didn't know, it is cookie season. I love cookies around Christmas time. And so today I'm sharing with you a new cookie recipe. It is called Grandma Betty's Carrot Cookies. Now, like I said, I have never made this recipe before because I am actually collaborating with my friend Erin Galloway. Um, I met her husband at a YouTube conference in Cincinnati and they were, those two together are so interesting. So they used to be big employers, then they decided to just, you know what, this life isn't for them. So they picked up, they moved to Wyoming, and now they have a YouTube channel called Our Wyoming Life. I love Wyoming. I grew up in Utah, so it just holds a special place in my heart. So in our collaboration, um, we talked with Aaron a lot, I talked with Michael a lot, and we decided to do a swap of recipes. So they're actually making my apple praline bread. They go through step-by-step -step process of how they made it, and then they also sell things at their farmer's market. So it was the process of getting it together, packaging it, and then selling it at their farmer's market in Wyoming, and it's such an interesting story. Their channel is so fun to watch. You're gonna have to go check them out. Go check out our apple praline bread over there. And then this recipe is a special one that's from her grandma because it's Grandma Betty's carrot cookie recipe. It was so funny when she was giving me this recipe, she's like, um, so grandma kind of just throws it together and so she's not exactly sure what's in it. So she, she had to go and make the recipe so she knew how to tell me how to make it. No, so once I started getting going, oh my gosh, the smell that it put off was so good. If you like carrot cake, this is about 10 times better. Anyways, be sure to check out these carrot cookies that we're gonna make and then go over to her site, go check out the apple praline bread. It is delicious. Before we get started with anything, be sure to click our little subscribe button and push the little bell so you actually get our notifications. We've gotten a few comments saying that I'm not getting your stuff, I'm not sure when you're posting. So if you click that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll actually get a notification every time that we post. Okay guys, let's go make these carrot cookies. First you're gonna take one cup of Crisco. Now this individual packaging is so nice because it doesn't make a huge mess. So I prefer using these, they are great. Then um, next I'm just gonna add one egg to my mixture. And then after that, just three fourths cup of sugar. Then you're just gonna blend it together till it's nice and creamy. All right, that looks good. Okay, and I'm gonna move this up just a little bit so I have some room. And I have been cooking one cup of carrots, so I've been boiling them um, with water and a little bit of salt. Then I drained the majority of the water, um, and I'm just mashing them up. You want it to be a nice, texture, uh, not quite like baby food. You want some chunks in there. So I'm just chopping it up uh, kind of like almost like some chunky mashed potatoes. Once you're done mashing, they have to cool completely before you add them to your Crisco mixture. My trick is I put in a few ice cubes, mixed it around, drained it out, and then it was all ready to go when I needed it. Once the carrots are completely cooled, you just pour that in with your Crisco mixture. Next you're going to add about oh, a half a teaspoon of almond extract. You can do a few drops, but I love it, so I did about half a teaspoon. Then one teaspoon of vanilla, and you just kind of mix that around a little bit until it's combined. Then you're just going to add two cups of flour to your mixture and then just a little bit of salt, about half a teaspoon, but I kind of just eyeball it. When you're done with your salt, you just mix it all together. It takes a little bit to get it going. Um, keep stirring. It will become a nice, awesome cookie dough. It really looks so good. Okay, the secret with these is you have to chill them for about 40 minutes to an hour so then they get a nice plump look to them. Now, I like to make these cookies just a little bit 
on the smaller side, so they're like bite size. Then we're going to bake them at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Now from my most favorite part, it's the frosting. So we have one tablespoon of butter that's room temperature, juice from one orange or about four tablespoons of orange juice, and then I just added um, one cup at a time of my powdered sugar just because you kind of, it depends on what texture you want your frosting. I like mine thick instead of really light like a glaze. I like it thick and solid. So I ended up using about two and a half cups of powdered sugar. And now for the fun part, the frosting. So see how my frosting is pretty thick. You could make it a glaze if you want to, but I love thick frosting. That's probably one of my most favorite foods. So then you're just going to frost all these little cookies. It should make about 60 little cookies. Here is the final cookie. My husband voted them his new favorite. So. All right, taste test if you're wondering. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, it's, it's as good as it looks. Oh, seriously so good. All right, well, if you love this recipe, be sure to check out our other recipes that we have on this YouTube channel and be sure to stop by soon because we're going to be making a lot more Christmas cookies coming this week. Okay, you guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye!